This is Naina Curley of WAMDA Media. I'm here at Mix and Mentor Riyadh with Khaled Al Khuder of Glowwork. Khaled, how are you? Very good. How are you doing? Excellent. So, can you just describe for our audience? Some of our viewers have heard of Glowwork before, but some might not have. What is Glowwork? So, Glowwork is an enabler for women into the workplace. Uh, we have an online and an offline uh, presence. Our online is a web portal where women. Uh, job seekers upload their CVs and the employers are able to find the, the uh, females based on the filtering criteria that we have on our website. Um, and then we have our offline presence where we offer uh, career advice, uh, mentorship, um, career fairs. We held our last career fair just a month ago. We had over 17,000 females in attendance. Um, as well as we do a full recruitment service where we do the filtering, screening, uh, selection uh, and mentoring process for one year. So if a woman wants to work from home part-time or even full-time, she can sign up and then actually work via computer platform at home, right? Uh, we have different opportunities. So if a woman wants to be working from home, part-time, full-time, uh, co-op or internships, they could choose their preference. And employers, we have very flexible employers that are looking for women from those that do not read or write all the way up until PhDs and different working environment preferences based on their requirements and needs. But women in Saudi are, are now on the whole, they're more college graduates than men, um, but they've obviously, you know, the workforce participation is not equal. How have you seen that improve in the past couple of years? So uh, this year, uh, sorry, in 2012, 160,000 women entered the private sector and labor market as opposed to the three years before that each year was 60,000 women so this the last year uh, there was three times the previous uh, work of three years which is an amazing uh, number and statistic another um, huge thing that happened is that the Ministry of Labor has put in new laws and regulations to boost women employment to be a bit more flexible uh, around uh, including women to the workforce we are very lucky that we rode the wave and uh, we're part of a trend this is something that we're very very proud of and how are you helping startups so startups we offer uh, discounted services when it comes to recruitment uh, of women into their workforce whether it's working from home because a lot of companies in Saudi when they start up it's very hard to hire women in office because there's a segregation law and that means if I was to hire a woman from my uh, from uh, the office I mean separate office space utilities expenses it's too much to hire two or three ladies so we have a virtual office monitoring tool where you can hire a woman from home and monitor activities virtually and a cost of the transportation allowance. So you're saving a lot of money, you're increasing your Saudiization, boosting economy, and uh, everyone's uh, a winner there. As well as we all also now offer uh, a service, which is a branding and creative uh, work for our startups. And it's done by Saudi women graphic designers. Uh, basically, whenever someone has an idea for a startup, we do their logos, brand identity, website, uh, the production as well. Any startups out there, we're very happy to help out. Just finally, what do you predict for next year? What do you expect to see change? Um, well, there is new laws that are coming out that will soon boost our business. Ministry of Labor is looking at uh, feminizing the jewelry uh, industry. Um, the cosmetics industry, the optical, furniture, and that means whenever you enter a mall, you only find women working. And since we are the, currently the only players in the market uh, around women employment, this is something of a huge opportunity for us. And uh, we will continue to expand our uh, business lines, uh, diversify them to ensure that it's aligned with the uh, Ministry of Labor and the government's objective in the coming years. Thanks for chatting with us. Thank you very much. Thank you.